easy garlic rosemary bread. This comes together so quick and easy and you don't need any special tools or equipment. So I'm going to start off by putting four cups of flour into a big bowl. Now you can use whole wheat if you want as well. Then I add two and a half teaspoons of rapid rice yeast. This packet is not enough. It only has about two teaspoons. So you're going to have to add another half a teaspoon. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of garlic powder. Then I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and at least one tablespoon of chopped fresh rosemary. You can add lots more if you like. Then I'm just going to give that a whisk so that it's all mixed together evenly. And then I'm going to start mixing in two and a half to three cups of very warm water. You basically want to end up with a nice wet sticky dough just like this one. So now now I'm going to cover it with a towel and that's it. I'm going to let it rise in a warm place for two hours. After two hours, it has doubled and looks just like this. So now it's time to heat our Dutch oven. I have this five quart Dutch oven that I found on Amazon and I'm going to get that heating up in the oven. I stick it in there and then I set my oven to 450 degrees and let it sit. And this takes about 20 to 30 minutes. So in the meantime, we want our dough to raise a second time. So I'm going to take a nice generous amount of flour and put that down on my board. And then I'm going to get out this really sticky dough. And don't worry, this is exactly how you want it to look. So then I'm going to add a bunch more flour on top and I'm going to get my hands nice and floury as well. And now we're just going to try to move some of the dough from the bottom to the top and we're only going to do this a few times if you overwork the dough it comes out really dense and you want it to be light and airy so i'm just going to fold it from the bottom up to the top just like that see it only take a few times and now i'm going to take a big bowl and add some parchment paper to the bowl and then i'm going to stick my dough into the bowl and kind of give it a shape just like that. I'm gonna cover it with a towel and let it sit in a warm place for 30 minutes until the Dutch oven is ready. Now when the Dutch oven is ready, I'm taking out very carefully with gloves because it is so, so hot. So now I'm gonna add the dough. See, it's raised a little bit more. I'm gonna add that straight into the Dutch oven. Be very careful because the Dutch oven is gonna be so, so hot. You can really burn yourself. Put the lid back on and now it's ready to go back into the oven. So I get her back into the oven for 35 minutes at 450. And after 35 minutes, this is what she looks like absolutely gorgeous and oh my gosh the kitchen smells like absolute heaven you can pop it in for another five minutes without the lid if you want i didn't do that because look she looks perfect oh my gosh i could eat this whole loaf so you want to let it rest for 10 minutes before you cut it up but here's what she looks like so so good oh my gosh have this with some soup or by itself i hope you guys give it a try